Hello everyone, this is Zagony333. And today's review, which I'm doing another one for today, is over the film Resident Evil Vendetta, which is the third of the uh, CGI-made Resident Evil movies. It's from 2017, it is rated R, it is one hour and 37 fucking minutes, and I thought I'd put here that it's my favorite of the Resident Evil animated films thus far. The cool thing about this film is that it features characters we haven't seen in a while, like Rebecca Chambers, which I thought was pretty awesome. Just cool to see that character return. And But let me get into the story synopsis first, which is that pretty much... Now I'm trying to think how exactly... I, there is pretty much, you know, terrorists trying to use the T-virus, things like that, B.O.W.'s. And Chris Redfield and Leon are pretty much on the case to try to stop this terrorist and everything else like that. So I'll just leave it there. I'm not going to go big into the fucking story. I thought I would keep these reviews somewhat shorter. Because at least for me, there's not too much in terms of spoilers and things to get to. But, like I said, a positive of this film is returning characters that we haven't seen in a while. It uh, keeps the great improvements that we've seen in Damnation. And let me see does another good job with surrounding characters just like uh, the other films have done. And it's another well-told story. But the other improvement that I feel like this film has and why I like it the best is it has some of the horror feel that Dam uh, Degeneration has. It has some of the action that Damnation has. But it improves on some things as well when it comes to like the fights and stuff. Because in the last review for Damnation, I mentioned how you know uh, there were some good fights in there. But when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat fighting and everything like that, Metal Gear Solid usually does that best. And I feel like Vendetta kind of improved in that aspect. Some of the cool fight scenes are done a little bit better here. But that's the reason that I like this one the best, is it keeps all of the positive things from the other films while improving in other ways. And yeah, there's not even all, yeah, there's no spoilers to even speak of here. But one thing I thought I would put here since we're covering a lot of Resident Evil, and I've also mentioned books and stuff. If you're someone like me that doesn't get enough of Resident Evil, it would be uh, in your benefit to check out the Resident Evil novels from S.D. Perry. I thought I'd mention that here, because those are all really great books. I've read quite a few of them. I used to own like six of them, like The, uh, the Umbrella Conspiracy, Caliban Cove, other ones like that. They're really good books, so if you're someone who loves to read and you love Resident Evil, absolutely check out those novels from S.D. Perry. You can't go wrong there. It does a great job adapting the games into books, as well as, uh, you know, side stories and stuff like that. But I thought I would give this film a rating of 8, just because, like I said, it retains the things that were good about the other films that preceded it, while improving in other ways. At least for me personally, that's why I like this one the best. I have not seen Infinite Darkness, which is the newest one that was made. Hopefully I can watch that and maybe cover it at some point here. But that's pretty much all I've got to say, a short and sweet kind of review here. If you, like I said, if you like the horror and the action and, you know, like I said, the hand-to-hand -hand combat improvements and stuff like that, I think this one will be for you. But... To everyone out there, I'm going to be heading out. So peace. Have an awesomely amazing badass fucking day. See you later.